Hello there from Walt Disney World. Tonight, myself and Brennan are heading to Disney Springs for a little date night. So we have a few ideas where we want to spend our evening tonight. Brennan, where do you want to go? Let's go to Splitsville. Splitsville? Okay. Anywhere else? Um, I'd like to get some ice cream. Okay. I'd like to get some donuts. Okay. All right, so we just parked on the roof of the Orange Garage, and we're about to head right down there to the AMC, which is right next to Everglades, which is where I want to get a key lime donut, if they have it, and then you want to get some ice cream over at the Volleyle Gelato? Yes. Okay, so we had to go down to the other end of the garage to get down to Disney Springs because of the bag check. There is another entrance into Disney Springs way down there, but right now it's just an exit. So we're currently here on a Saturday, so it's a little bit busier as it generally is at Disney Springs on a Saturday. I was kind of anticipating that with the fireworks being back, maybe be a little bit less busy with the park hours being extended, but I don't think so today. So I'm pretty sure the plan is to just head straight to Splitsville, right? Yeah. I'm Are we gonna sit I'm... at the bar outside? I don't know, well, I guess we can see what's going on inside and then we can go to the bar. Okay. Well, that's way down there. Would have been a little bit nicer to just go down the stairs or the elevator where we were, but what are you gonna do? Somewhere that we have not been yet is the M&M store way down here. We just haven't had the chance to really explore it. I guess like neither one of us really eat M&Ms that much, so I guess we haven't really had a desire to go. We need to check it out though. Black Widow literally just came out yesterday. Brennan and I have always seen the most recent Marvel films in theaters, so it's probably gonna be our return to the cinematic experience here whenever we can get a ticket. I'm sure that they're all sold out on opening weekend. Let's see if we can get a table outside or inside for Splitsville. All right, so we're able to put in our name over at Splitsville. So now we are heading over to the M&M store here just to check it out for the very first time. And we did it, we made it inside the M&M store. <laughs> it's busy in here. Packed. There's a cool little timeline here of the M&Ms throughout the years. This is pretty fun. Okay. Cool, okay. Well, let's head back to the flavors then back here. I guess there aren't really flavors of M&M's, they're just chocolate M&M's, but in the different variety of colors, look at all of these different colors of M&M's. Wow. All right, I guess there technically are flavors of M&M's back over here. Peanut butter, peanut, peanut mix, dark chocolate peanut, milk chocolate peanut, white chocolates. There's also key lime flavored right over there, which is interesting, and toffee flavored and almond. So they do have a pretty good variety of M&M's here, the M&M store. Who would have thought that? <laughs> I love all of these different dispensers right over here. Those are pretty cool. There's an area back over there where you can customize M&M's and, and put different icons and, and even your face on the M&M, which is pretty cool. A long time ago, I actually had an M&M dispenser, which I recently got rid of, unfortunately. I found it at a thrift store, which is probably not the most hygienic place to find an M&M dispenser, but I loved it for a long time. I used to have a bubblegum machine that I could hang on my wall, and once I like emptied out all the bubblegum, I replaced it with M&M's. That's fun. It just hung over my bed. <laughs> all right, so outside the M&M store, trying to kill a little bit more time before we're called for Splitsville. Checking out the restaurant over here at the House of Blues, which we've never been to before. I would love to come back here. This looks great. What do you think? We have been here together. Here? Yeah. I don't think so, not at the restaurant. Hmm. Okay. Who have you been here with? That's the concert venue right there, which we have been to together. The restaurant is back over here. This is right across from City Works and the NBA experience. But we're ready to go. We're ready to go? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's head back to Splitsville then. Good timing. We'll have to come back to the MM store when it's not as busy as it is. Right now, it is very, very busy inside that store. But then I don't know if I really want to pay for M&M's. They were pretty expensive in there. And when I eat M&M's, I don't know. I'm kind of a dollar store M&M kind of a guy. Is that pretentious? No. All right, so we are sitting at our table right now and I was just talking to Vernon about this. What did they say? You wanted to sit upstairs by the window so you could look out. And I didn't even ask for this. And look where we are sitting right now. Look at this view of Disney Springs. There's the balloon right over there. Here's the AMC right next to us. There's this open field right now that they're currently working on and there's Haleo way back there in the back but this is so cool I'm excited so we were checking out the menus on our phones trying to decide what we're gonna get yeah. Brennan is probably I'm gonna guess you're gonna get some sushi right yeah. yeah and then I make it a burger or maybe like an appetizer here I'm not sure yet okay so we put in our order for our food and Brennan got herself a drink <laughs> what'd you get it's a Miami Vice, so it's a rum runner mixed with a pina colada. Is that an extra shot right up there? <laughs> it's like a fat Tuesday sort of a drink, right? Yeah. 
Look at how tropical this looks. This is great. I know. And we put in our order. I ended up getting a Hawaiian pizza, of all things. Extra tropical. And what do you get? My sushi. Which is... The super tuna. So we've always wondered it with this right here, this walkway, this bridge, and the various connecting pieces of it, if it was ever intended to actually be finished. Could you imagine walking around Disney Springs on a secondary level? I would absolutely love that. I'm pretty sure that this exists in the concept art for this area. I don't know. This would have been great. I would have absolutely loved a secondary level of Disney Springs. So I don't, I don't know what the, what the entire point of that was. If they weren't going to finish and, and complete it. It looks like there are handrails there, so potentially at one point that was the concept to have a walkway, but I guess it makes for a nice little, little alcove down here to get out of the rain. I suppose, and out of the sun. I'm not sure. So our food came, and here's my sushi, and look at this pizza. I this thought you were massive. getting a flatbread. This looks amazing. This is huge, and it's not that much more expensive than Blaze Pizza. Yeah. So this is going to be great. I am definitely going to bring a majority of this home. <laughs> but it just sounded really, really nice. I don't really ever get Hawaiian pizza, so I'm I wanted to try it out. All right, I come over to the other side from where we're sitting. There's the entrance into Splitsville, the element stores. We're right on the other side of it. There's Haleo. And there's this nice big empty area that's currently now being developed. And there's the main thoroughfare. So the weather is rolling in right now. So we may actually skip the Voli El Gelato, maybe head straight to Everglades. The Voli El Gelato is way over there on the other side of the boathouse, pretty much kind of next to STK and the Ganachery. So it's a little bit of a waste. It's not too far, but just checking out these crowds right now. It might be a little bit of an issue to get all the way over there and to get in line for it. So we'll come back on a less busy day, hopefully not a weekend. So we're gonna go ahead over here to Everglades. <laughs> Maybe, presuming that they have the donut that I really want. Yeah. So way back there are the upstairs bowling lanes. There's also bowling downstairs. Here's a bar. We sat kind of way over there by the window. There's the AMC right in front of us. Here we go, heading down the stairs to Everglades, which does not look like it really has a line right now. And then we can head right upstairs to the Orange Garage before this weather potentially hits very soon, right? Yeah. Cool. Did you enjoy your food? I loved it. I had to bring the majority of my pizza home like I thought I would, but <laughs> it was really good. I tried some of your pizza. It's really good. It's delicious. There's the outdoor bar that we usually sit at with the live music that they generally play. And there's the downstairs floor with all of the bowling lanes right over there and then some more seating area here. Let's go get some donuts. Okay. And here we are outside. There's the outdoor bar again and we were just right up there overlooking this very, very busy area. But let's see if they have that key lime donut that I really hope I'm going to enjoy. If they have, it's it's been pretty popular, I think. And guess what? They totally had it! Yay! Look at this. This is the key lime pie donuts. I'm excited. I'm excited for the filling. Yeah. That is going to be so good. Going to eat that at home, probably. Which we're heading to right now. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we're going to go home and film a little home updates. More or less, there are a few new things that we got, and just, just to show the home every now and then is kind of fun, right? To show the progress of Arlo and, and Calvin and Farley. All right, so we made it back home. There's Arlo right over there. Is he excited? You ready, Arlo? You ready, Arlo? You ready? Arlo! Yay! So right now our backyard is a bit of a work in progress, but feeling pretty good about it. I love these lights that we put up here. It makes it nice and relaxing back here. Okay, Arlo, you ready? You ready? You like your ball? You like your ball? Go get it. There he goes. Cool. Yep, so this is our backyard. Some people from the city came and dug a hole in our in our backyard when we were here one day and it was kind of random and, and awkward, but I guess they can do that. They did it to everyone else's backyard. All right, so we're back inside. There's Arlo right down there playing with his little Eeyore toy. That's his favorite toy. I always go take that and put it back in the film room and he goes and he grabs it and he plays with it, so that's his favorite toy. So this is new right here. This is a TV, a tiny little Roku TV, like a 24 inch TV that was very cheap and we can use it while we're cooking or doing the dishes. So that is really fun. I think it was just a little bit over $100. So that was great. Nothing's really changed as far as the kitchen in here. This is just where we eat and have breakfast and enjoy our time together. This is also kind of cool right here. So this was the picture that ended up winning my little Pluto contest, and I asked him if I could print it out and put it on my fridge, so now we have a picture of Arlo and Pluto wearing oivy shirts right there on the fridge, so 
That's cool. Nothing's really changed about this room. This is our game room, with the exception of this. This is something that I think Brennan and I talked about last time. We wanted to get a nice little, comfortable, very cheap couch here, just to have some sort of a seating situation going on in, in this area. And this has proved to be very, very useful in the past couple months, because our friends Jorge and Kelly came to visit, and then Kenneth and Kylie. And this worked out exactly how we wanted it to, where myself and Jorge or myself and Kenneth would be playing ping pong right here and then Brennan and Kylie or Brennan and Kelly would be hanging out just on the couch having a couple drinks from our lovely little bar right over here. So this really did work out. This was the most awkward room probably in the whole house and it, it worked out and we're just kind of really enjoying that. Nothing's really changed about this room in here in particular. I don't think. I'm pretty sure everything's the same here except got a little table there for um, next to the door so we can put wallets and, and keys and whatnot. This is still the the play area here for the cats. Have a, a montage of animals out there on the TV. The spare room is still the same in here for the most part. Maybe change the, a few things about this in here, but what's pretty new is what's going on in here in the in the film room. This is all still the same in here. See, I put Eeyore back on the shelf and he always goes for Eeyore. Why always Eeyore? Anyway, so this is all the same for the most part, but this is brand new. So if you watched my 20,000 subscriber live stream, we use this table here. We finally got a table for this room so we can actually do those kinds of live streams. And then I got these. These are pretty comparatively cheap to other um, alternative microphones you could probably get, but I wanted to get microphones. These are legitimate microphones, so maybe we could have a different sort of a sound setup for live streams or potentially start doing a podcast. That could be a lot of fun as well. But what's also really, really cool is this right here. So I opened up a P.O. box. This is my P.O. box address right here, and I was sent this in the mail. This is from Alicia, and this is this is absolutely just incredibly, I don't know, this is just, this is this is so cool, honestly. She sent a little Pikachu here. She sent these, which have Pokemon on them. She sent buttons, or, yeah, buttons, I guess. This little Lego Meowth here, a couple keychains, and some, some pins. And then she sent this little Pikachu Pokemon card, which is great. It was very, I don't know, it was just so surprising. I, I, I don't anticipate or expect this. If you, if you ever want to send me like a little, I don't even know, like just, just a letter, just stick a postcard. You can, you can send it right there and, and that would be just really, really cool just to have that kind of like engagement and conversation back and forth. I know that I'm not the best when it comes to answering comments, but this would be just so tangible and fun for me. She sent me and Vernon a good amount of these, these cards here. It was just so incredibly sweet. She does have a YouTube called Books and Things with Alicia if you want to check her out. But I just thought this was so incredibly nice. And I don't know, this is, this is just, this is incredible. I, I, I don't have the words to articulate just how much that means to me right there. And something else that's kind of cool is I've been going to Barnes & Noble a lot. I got myself a Barnes & Noble membership, and I've been getting some books from Barnes & Noble because reading is really fun. And another one of the jobs that I have is I do video editing, and so I've been going to Barnes & Noble, going to the cafe there, and just kind of doing some some... I don't know, just some work there in the cafe because something is just really nice about going to a Barnes & Noble cafe and grabbing a coffee and just working on your laptop. So I've been getting some fun books here that I'm going to be reading hopefully pretty soon. I got this for Daniel because we're going to be giving Daniel this from Epcot's from the last time we were there. Here's Farley. Hey, Farley. Doing okay? He's a sleepy little snoozer here. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's, that's kind of what's going on in, in this room. This is going to be really fun to utilize, hopefully, at some point, but I'm really excited about it. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I know this was a little bit different of a video, starting at Disney Springs and then ending with a home updates, but it's fun to just share our, our life updates, even if it's something as mundane as getting a couch or getting a table with microphones on it. This is fun to, to watch back and just kind of see the development of where we started and where we are now. Well, it's also consistent with all the other like apartment vlogs that you've done in the mm -hmm. past, like with our apartment together and all your other apartments in the past. Yeah, and I did a lot of yard work today. Just it feels like we're really getting there with this home. You mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm just 
I'm really happy about it. So in the spirit of Pokemon, because of this package, which was insanely generous. It was very sweet and probably one of the most thoughtful things someone could have done. It was, I'd say the perfect first gift that right? you could have received in your P.O. box. So thank you so much. Like it was just the sweetest thing. And then just like the personalized letters. It was just, it was so sweet. And yeah, that's, that's a... going to be, I, I'm just, I'm so happy about that. We made a video of Roy opening it because we were both so excited. So we will cherish that video together forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was great. So, so in the spirit of Pokemon, I got this from Walmart. Be warned, there's about to be some Pokemon content coming up. So where, where, there you where? go. So what I want to do, because this Pokeball was made in 2020, so there should be an Evolutions pack in here, and I mentioned this plenty of times before, Evolutions is a reprint of the base set of Pokemon cards. It's the most nostalgic set to me and the most sought after set. So what I want to try to do, I want to open this up. If there's an Evolutions pack in here and I'm right, then maybe I'll open that up. But if there is one in here, I'm going to take a big bite of my Key Lime Donut. If there's not, then Brennan gets to take a big bite of my Key Lime Donut later on. So there's a lot at stake here. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to open this up. I am nervous, but I'm very excited because that Key Lime what, Donut... You're, regardless, you're going to eat your Key Lime Donut. I know, but if you get a big bite of it, then that is less donuts that I'm able to get. I'm going to you know? take the best bite of it. The biggest bite of that donut. Okay. So I'm going to open up the Pokeball. And I mentioned this before, like in the Epcot video, or just Pokemon, it's just, it's so hyped for me, and the fact that it's synonymous with the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, and it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, it's just so exciting. Okay, so here we go, opening it up. We have a Sun and Moon Evolutions, yeah. and a Sun and Moon, so there is an Evolutions pack in here, so I get a big bite of my donuts. Where is it trying to, like, reach behind me? <laughs> trying to take my donut? I was jealous. Oh, you got Minnie Mouse Leave now. Leave everybody alone. What? Can How you just... dare I have 5,000 toys here and he can just help himself to it, right? This is not your toys. This is Arlo's toys. Okay. You ready? Mm. <laughs> That's good. Mm. What? Is that like a marshmallow on top? Because like I could hear like the... It's like meringue. Ooh, I could mm. hear the sound of it and it sounded so pleasant. Well, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Something I say every single video. Just kidding. Thank I you for watching. <laughs> I know, I never say that. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you, bye. Goodbye, Arlo. So just kidding. It's been a couple days. I wanted to add a little tag on to that video just to show off Calvin because he wasn't in the initial video. But right after I recorded that update about the P.O. Box, I got another package in the mail right here. And this is from Jabber, and he sent this, which is incredibly cool. This, this little is so cute. Lego Mickey and Minnie Steamboat Willie Lego set. This is incredible, and Brennan and myself are going to have such a good time opening that up. I'm excited to build it and put it on a shelf somewhere. So thank you to Jabber. Thank he is, you. He is such a cool guy. He watches all of our videos, and he's an awesome awesome fella so and this is also something that i got for brennan because our anniversary was a couple days ago or yesterday actually so i got these and this is just being included in the video too because this is in a home update so these are going to go on the wall in the living room with all the other fun little pictures that we have <laughs> in there so that's kind of fun to show off as well and then finally i Pulled this out of the Pokemon tin in the video, <laughs> and then I did not open it. I just stuffed my face with the donut. So I'm gonna go and open this right now, just for fun. Yeah, which is a little bit sad because Evolutions packs are very, very hard to find and relatively rare. So it breaks my heart a little bit, but that's the whole point of Pokemon cards is to open them up and have a good time doing it. So give me one quick second here. I'm gonna take three cards from the back, so the final card's gonna be the good card, hopefully the holographic card. So I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly here. See if I get something fun. Maybe. We'll see. We're almost there. Ooh. And, nope. <laughs> Nothing good, but, oh well. Well, thanks for hanging out with this video. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you soon, have a great day, and goodbye. Bye.